The following is information everyone should have. Information regarding safety planning. First, we talk about home safety and how the police can assist you in keeping your home safe. Then, go into forming safety plans. So crime prevention through environmental design are some very simple things. Using lighting around the house in the evening. Using motion lighting in those dark corners of your house. So when somebody during the night enters onto your backyard or near your shed, around the back door of the house, simply having a light come on is usually enough to startle a person and they'll leave. Um, keeping the bushes around the front of your house and around windows and doors trimmed back or trimmed low so that as the police officer on patrol or the citizen that's driving home after working night shift drives past your house, he can see if somebody is hiding in the bushes or near your front door. If we can't see them, then they're more free to be up around your house and more available to break into your home and make you a victim of any crime. If you would like assistance in making your home more secure or would like to know more about crime prevention through environmental design, contact local police. Local police can also help you in providing other safety planning. Making a safety plan involves identifying the steps one can take to increase their safety, as well as helping to prepare them and their children in advance for the possibility of further violence. When the support link coordinator does a safety plan, they look at where the person lives, they look at where they work, and they look at where they socialize. So for instance, if they were looking at where they live, one of the things that they might say to them is, okay, so you're in the middle of your living room, someone's at the door, it could be, as I said, the abuser, what are you going to do? And most people will freeze in that kind of a situation. So our job is to give them a plan, show them what they're going to do. There are some special concerns for women living in rural areas. Um, there's quite a bit of isolation if you're living out in the country. So some of the, the techniques we would give women living in town or in the city won't, won't work for them. Part of the uh, safety planning that I did with victim services was to always know where I was at if I wasn't home. It wasn't good enough to know that I was traveling north. I needed to know what road I was on, what was the last crossroad. Uh, for the areas that I travel on a regular basis, I know I can pretty much tell you whose house I'm going by at any point in time. So they were ways that I learned to deal with things to keep myself safer. Not many people are aware that you don't have to have an activated cell phone to be able to place a 911 call. But this is possible as long as the cell phone has a charge and there is a service signal available. So you can work with court orders as well to increase your safety by getting a restraining order or um, peace bond. And you can use this by keeping the, the copies on you and sharing it with your friends and your neighbours so everybody's aware of the, the conditions that are put on your partner and, and things to look out for for your safety. Community agencies are there to provide information about safety planning or assist you in creating one for yourself. Please view the services part of this video for contact information for these and other agencies.